Hey, this is Joe from Personas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your voice into a keyboard. All right, this one is for the audio guy Neanderthals like me who are easily impressed with fun little toys. Uh, if you are well versed in MIDI and sampling, this will make you yawn. You can move on. Go watch a Gregor video. He'll show you something cool. To do what I'm going to show you in the video, you just need a handful of things. You need Studio One Artist or Pro version. You need a microphone. You need some sort of MIDI controller, although you could click in the notes via the MIDI editor, but the controller is more fun. And you need to be able to sing the word bum for two bars, like this. Bum. Beautiful, beautiful bum. So that is the, the note E on the keyboard. So I wanted to do something in E minor so that the root note that I recorded was E. That was the start of this whole nonsense. Next, pull up the Instruments tab over here in the browser and scroll until you see an instrument called Sample 1. We'll close this menu. Look, it's right there waiting for us. If you're like me, you've dragged this in to see what it was and you said, okay, mm don't know what that is and you've closed it and moved on. We, we audio folks don't tend to just know what this stuff does. Sampler folks see this and say, ooh, look at all the things I can do. I'm starting to see what you're talking about. But what we're going to do is we open up sample one. We just drag that onto a blank space in the session. It goes ahead and creates an instrument channel. But if I press notes, there's no sound, right? We can see there's MIDI information going there, but there's no sound because this is just a blank sampler with nothing in it. So we need to get some sounds into this. Well, given that Studio One is all about that drag and drop workflow, what happens if I take this bum vocal I just recorded and drag it in? Okay, it just shows up right there. What if I hit a note on the keyboard? Oh, interesting. So just like that, I'm able to play this thing I just recorded. Okay, now one thing that I did to make sure this was right is I said the root note was E2 instead of C. So when I press this E on the keyboard, boom, that's the same thing I sang. Now, as you can see over here, we can load lots of samples and you can map them to just a set number of notes on the keyboard. I'm not covering any of that because I am a complete noob when it comes to using sample one. I literally just dragged it in there and said, hmm, that's interesting. What happens if I start playing notes? Boom, boom, boom. Suddenly, my narcissism is just next level. Now I have multiples of me that I can play with my fingers and hear my voice going. It's just glorious. So that's how you do it. And so now this is now I've turned my bum into a virtual instrument that I can now play and record, meaning I can do something like this. Actually, let me show you something that I did do with this exact sample. Is it gimmicky? Yeah, but hopefully your brain is starting to realize I can do this with literally any sound. I could record something on my phone at the train station. I've literally never been to a train station, but if I did, I'd record something and I could map it to a sound and start to use that to create different sounds and it automatically pitches it up and down. Now, sample one is way deeper than I know how to use. The reason I recorded it as two full bars is because the higher you go with the note, the shorter it makes it by default, which is just a part of the changing the pitch process. So that allows me to hold out the notes for at least a full bar at all the different octaves that I wanted to use. Uh, and I think it turned out really well. Check out this part when I started playing some more chords. When you get to that part, it doesn't even sound like a bum anymore. It just sounds like kind of a cool synth that we've created and we have without turning a single oscillator or knowing how to program synthesis which is pretty cool so that's it for my video thanks for watching see you in the next one